Hey what's up bro how are you? Welcome to another new video from the Business Story and Biography channel. In today's video we will learn the success story of Archer Daniels Midland Company business. Since its founding in 1902, when George A. Archer and John W. Daniels started a linseed crushing business, and later, in 1923, acquired the Midland Linseed Products Company, the company that is today known as Archer Daniels. Midland, Nice, Adm, has grown to a global powerhouse, with some 32,000 employees serving customers in 160 countries. Throughout its meteoric rise, Adm has had partner at its site giving it support when it needed it. The Story Today, from its Chicago headquarters, the company that calls itself the biggest little company out there, operates 500 crop procurement locations, 250 ingredient manufacturing facilities, 38 innovation centers, and the world's premier crop transportation network. In early 2017, for the ninth consecutive year, Fortune magazine named Ad one of the most admired food production companies. Ranked number 49 on the Fortune 500 list, Adam reported annual revenues of $64.3 billion. With its worldwide transportation network in more than 265 locations, Adam places a high value on communications and staying connected. Everything we do starts with you. Connecting the farmers from whom it buys crops to the marketplace. Important connections require large communication systems, and for a long time, Adam relied on its Avaya infrastructure for this. What Adam soon realized was that maintaining a system like this one wouldn't be easy and doing so on its own proved to be a waste of time and resources. What it needed was a partner that could provide support for the system at a reasonable price. For most of the last decade Continuant delivered superior maintenance and support for some 20,000 Avaya users at Adam. With Continuant's support, Adam no longer had to worry about tying up its time and resources with its communication systems and could now focus on its core business instead. With Ad moving away from Avaya systems in the future, it may look as though its relationship with Continuant is at an end. Fortunately for both companies, this is not the case. Instead, Adam is working with Continuant in the early stages of a Microsoft Teams transition. As a first step in this journey, Continuant is currently installing Microsoft Azure Voice Messaging to replace their exchanged unified messaging in eight locations. Though its Avaya support is now a thing of the past, Adam can continue to count on Continuum to make its communication as simple as effective as it can be. With another lawsuit looming, Adam executives decided it was time to improve the company's tarnished image. In 2001, the company began recasting its image, abandoning its slogan, Supermarket to the World, which was introduced during the 1970s, and replacing its logo, a symbol L of a chemical molecule. First used in 1962. The company adopted the new tagline, The Nature of What's to Come, and a logo of a green leaf inside a blue diamond. Part of a new promotional campaign designed to shift attention from the company's bulk commodity business to a range of nutritional products, such as vegetarian burgers and soy milk A, and alternative fuels, including ethanol and biodiesel. Toward this end, the company collaborated with Japan-based Cow Corporation in 2001 to produce a weight control cooking oil. In early 2003, the oil, marketed as Inova, was introduced in Atlanta and Chicago, the first step of national rollout slated for early 2004. In another example of the NU, Adam and its emphasis on developing new products from natural, rentable resources, the company signed an agreement with Volkswagen AG in early 2004 to produce biodiesel, a combination of vegetable oil and de diesel fuel. The partnership represented the first agreement between a major automaker and a major agricultural company in the renewable energy field. In 2005, Adam announced plans to build its first wholly owned biodiesel production facility, a plant expected to be constructed in Valva, North Dakota. The company also strengthened its traditional, bulk commodity business during the first half of the decade, which continued to serve as its mainstay business despite the efforts to promote Adam as more than the supermarket to the world. In 2000, the company began constructing five new crushing plants in China. In 2001, a Turkish vegetable oil producer, Doysen Yagsani, was acquired, giving Adam a crushing plant, refinery, and packaging operations, as well as Bolivian vegetable oil producer Sociedad de Citer del Oriente, SA. In 2002, the company acquired Minnesota Corn Processors, LLC, a deal that gave the company corn wet milling plants in Marshall, Minnesota, and Columbus, Nebraska. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video please like, comment, share and subscribe now this official YouTube channel. Bye.